we've seen a lot of different things go on. So what's it been like with the tight ends this year? Because it seems like Nas this is now what is going to be his what first full off season. We've seen Trey come in. Of course, there's you, Maven. What's it been like for your group? I think it's definitely a more experienced group. I mean, you know, we've been through this a lot, obviously, besides Trey. But, uh, you know, we're trying to teach him, teach him how it goes around here. But um, overall, I mean, you know, we've been making more plays. You know, uh, Jimbo's trying to you know, implement more, you know, formations just to get us, you know, out wide and do stuff like that. So I think it's more experienced guys and, we're, you know, we're making some plays doing well. And as far as your unit with the with just being spread out more, I mean, what's it like knowing that you guys are probably going to have a more – I guess you could say an important role given that, you know, there is youth at wide receiver. I mean, granted, you know, Nudie and Auden played last right. year, but, you know, you are the more experienced uh, target compared to everybody else. Yeah, I mean, definitely. You know, after having, you know, all those playmakers leave last year, I mean, we knew that we were going to have to step up. You know, we're going to get those opportunities. So, like me, Maven, you know, teaching Trey, you know, so for the season he could help us out. It's just, you know, process that we're doing right now, trying to, you know, get used to that you know, role. Coach was um... Fisher was talking about you guys, you know, splitting out wide, moving out. You just, how are you enjoying different roles that you're being asked to play in the spring now that, you know, you do have a lot of depth of tight and not so much depth right. of wide receiver? Yeah, I like it a lot. I mean, back in high school, you know, I was split out most of the time if it was, you know, on the outside or even in the slot. So, uh, you know, getting that role back, being able to try to, you know, uh, you know, be in there more often is definitely, you know, a thing I'm looking forward to doing. I feel like you can maybe take advantage of that matchup sometimes with some smaller DBs, the guys that maybe aren't used to covering people, you know, your size. Right. I think we showed it, you know, when he had Tate out there too last year. You know, he'd go up there, throw the ball up, high point it. So uh, I think having those big buyers out there just creates ma uh, mismatches. Even having the slower backer out there, so you know, run a vertical or something, you go by him. But definitely having a big body out there should help. Think you can surprise some uh, some DBs with what you're able to do athletically too. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm used to it in, in uh, high school, so I mean, I, I'm just happy that I'm getting the opportunity to go out there and you know make some plays. We've seen some new faces on the old line this year. Um, a, what's been your thoughts on how those guys have done it as a collective? And B, um, who's kind of stood out or flashed at you so far? Uh, I mean, it's been tough because of lack of depth. I mean, you know, you got guys going just about every rep, every, every play. So uh, I think somebody's stood out. I'd, I'd say Brock Rubel. I mean, he's doing a good job. You know, he's one of the guys speaking up, you know, uh, trying to keep that keep everybody together. Because, I mean, it's tough when you're going, you know, 80 players or how many are we going to practice and you're taking every rep. So I think, uh, you know, grinding through that, him stepping up as a leader is definitely helping out. What's been your thoughts on guys like Baby and kind of learning how to make the calls? Because I know you're so used to Everly. So what's it like to have someone out there? And, and, and what do you think of his progress? Yeah, he's doing really well. I think in the beginning of the year, you know, or the beginning of the spring, you know, it was kind of hard from, you know, having that role, you know, having that responsibility. But as the spring's gone on, I mean, he keeps improving. So, you know, I'm excited to see, you know, how we practice in the next four days and, you know, in the spring game too. Baby progress in the last or so as he's kind of learned the offense. And yeah, I mean, ever since Maven got here, you know, he's improved as a blocker and as a receiver. Uh, you know, him playing basketball, I don't think he really was used to, you know, the physicality of the game and stuff, but uh, he's starting to get the techniques down, get all that down, and, you know, just take coaching and stuff. What, oh, what does Trey bring to the table as far as a position? What, what's his skill set? He's a really good wide receiver. Uh, I think, you know, after we clean up his footwork, all the, you know, little details that comes with, you know, blocking, because we're usually blocking bigger guys. So I think, you know, as uh, he keeps progressing as a receiver, you know, cleaning up his routes and, you know, coming out of breaks, in and out of breaks, and also, you know, his footwork in the run game, I think he's going to be a really good player. For you, I mean, now that DeAndre's going to be back for a second straight year, I mean, does that change anything for you as a tight end, knowing, like, okay, you know his tendencies, or as a tight end when you're catching, I mean, does the quarterback and knowing his tendencies matter? I mean, what's it like for you? Because, I mean, you have to both block and catch, whereas if you're a receiver, it's mainly just catching. Yeah, I think, you know, having him as our leader, having him, you know, play last year. I mean, we worked with each other all the time, me, Nooney, Tate, you know, even Kerman and Bo and all them last year. So, uh, I mean, you know, we work with each other so much, that timing is really key. I mean, coming in and out of breaks, you know, I usually got a faster guy, you know, covering me. So using my body and being able to come out of breaks and having that ball come right when I come out, you know, that time is really important. And with Jimbo, we heard a lot about just how timing and precision is important. How would you say you've seen that change this spring? Yeah, I mean, he's really, you know, he's always really been really big on that. Because, I mean, you're, you take a step up the field too far, you know, that DB, we got such players here, they're going to be able to uncut you. So, I mean, that's one of the biggest parts of the game is the little details because, you know, every day, you know, you're going against the best. One more. I'm curious to see how you guys have improved from the first scrimmage to the next scrimmage when you have it next week. Yeah, I mean, last scrimmage we didn't do what we had to do, as simple as that. We didn't have the energy we needed. So, uh, I think it's time for leaders to step up, start talking more. You know, me, DeAndre, even Nooney, and then, you know, Trey and Derwin on defense. It's definitely time for people to start stepping up and talking more. Like our videos? Then you'll love being a premium member of Warchant.com with exclusive access to breaking news, insight, and analysis from the best on the beat. Enter the promo code WARCHANT30 on our sign-up page 
and get exclusive premium access for free for the next 30 days. Warchant.com, your ultimate seminal sports source.